Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here. Um, I'm going to start off by picking cards from the Soulmate Love Messages deck, okay? Uh, we got, thank you for being there for me when I needed it the most. You really helped this person through something, okay? I do feel like you were there for them. Maybe you were even kind of like a therapist for them. Or maybe, you know, even if this was short-lived, I feel like there's something that you said to them or some sort of advice that you gave gave to them that really really enlightened them like woke them up that really made them see you know life differently and in a better way okay I am seeing this person has a lot to thank you for and I feel like they're going to come back and try to make things up for you like oh hey thank you so much for doing that one thing for me let me come back and you know offer you something else I feel like maybe they're going to kind of you know try and make excuses to you know hit on you or talk to you um yeah, but I do see that you had a really, really, really impactful impact on this person's life. You had a really positive impact on this person's life and they have not been able to stop thinking about you because of that. Yeah, we also got there's only you in my mind and in my heart. Yeah, this person literally only thinks about you. OK, this person is like obsessed about you and it's like um, they're just. I feel like there's some sort of inner conflict going on. Like this person likes you. They like, you know, they love being around you, but also at the same time, you know, they really do want to hit you up. They do want to contact you, but it's like a part of them is just like, no, what if they say no? Because then their ego would be really hurt. So it's not that this person doesn't want to, because, you know, you always hear the phrase, if they wanted to, they would. It's just that they're scared to. It's just that, you know, they, they're not sure what's going to happen. Um, they do miss you a lot. They do care about you a lot, but they're also just really scared that you might reject them. We also got so many things remind me of you. It's crazy. Yeah, they have been seeing signs of you. They have been seeing your name in a lot of places. They've been hearing songs that remind them of you. Okay, because of that, they have been thinking about you a lot. They've been thinking about you like crazy. And it's like they're they're obsessed with you. I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, they're going to come back and literally treat you like the royalty that you are. Like they're going to be, you know, showing you off, like making social media posts about you. I really do feel like they have asked advice about you to their friends and family or they have shown your picture to someone around them. Um, like just really hyping up how beautiful or attractive or handsome you really are yeah we also got when i look into your eyes the whole world stops and i forget where i am oh my gosh this reminds me of that bruno mars song when i see your face there's not a single thing that i would change you're amazing just the way you are and when you smile the whole world stops and stares for a while if you know you know okay i'm like thinking like 2010 songs throwback like 2005 to 2010 oh what an era yeah we also got you are my lucky charm since i met you i've manifested all sorts of things yeah this person is really really lucky that they met someone like you they they feel like you changed their life in like the best way possible they feel like you know you really um like you made them view life in a different way you made them view love and relationships in a more positive way i am seeing they still have fears of getting hurt and emotional baggage that they're working through with but i do feel like out of everyone they've met they were able to open their heart the most to you they really feel like you know you're someone who kind of like changed up the like world for them i know that sounds so dramatic but you changed up um a lot in their life for the positive like you made such a positive impact on them yeah but let's go ahead and pick some more cards yeah we got eight of cups yeah i am seeing that you know this person could have like walked away from this connection but i'm seeing it's temporary or they could have tried to walk away but emotionally they haven't maybe physically they did but emotionally they are still stuck on you um we also got the six of wands yeah this is about victory success achievements this person really wants to come forward and win you over win you back like i said they're going to be doing something to gain your attention okay i do feel like they're going to be coming forward and um even making you a love offer here okay um knight of cups i am seeing like you know oh my gosh we got like two action type cards i feel like they're going to come forward and take action um they're going to act on their feelings and emotions and i feel like for a lot of you like they could be a little bit impulsive but it's like they've been doing like a good job like holding themselves back but again there's been this inner conflict like should i reach out to them or should i not like they are a little bit scared they're not exactly sure like you know how you will um respond to them when they come back because they know they know that you are on the freaking pedestal here okay they know that you work a lot on yourself and you're not going to settle for any sort of like lower vibrational version of them they know that you deserve the absolute best they know that you're a high quality high worth just like um amazing person inside and out and they know that you deserve exactly that and they know that you're at that place in your life where you're not settling they know that you know you have been through some stuff in the past your experience you can see through the bs okay and they know that you know if they want to be 
somebody in your life, they have to have something solid to offer you. They know that you're worth more than just like, you know, um, casually dating or whatever. Like they, they do want to come back and I'm seeing like offer you more, but they have to work on being a little bit more emotionally available themselves, which I'm seeing they are doing here. Okay. And I am seeing victory, success, happiness, achievements. Okay. I'm also seeing for whatever reason, I channel like random money coming in. I feel like a lot of you could be getting like, you know, tips or like just money out of nowhere. And that could be a sign that your person's coming back. Okay. We got the six of pentacles. Wow. Okay. I swear. I didn't even see this card when I said that, but with the six of pentacles, this is about fairness, balance, equality. This is about coming forward, coming back and not breadcrumbing you anymore, making sure that things are fair to you. Cause I do feel like at times maybe this person did kind of breadcrumb you or, you know, they didn't give you like as much as they could have or should have, or it's not that they could, couldn't, it's just that they, oh my gosh, how do I say this? They wanted to, but at times they couldn't just because I'm also seeing that they had a lot going on in their life. I do feel like this person cares a lot about societal reputation and career, and that is something that they are really busy with. And Six of Pentacles also sort of represents like work life balance, career balance. And, you know, that is something that is really important to them that they are currently working on doing and balancing. OK, but I'm seeing they, they eventually are going to be coming forward and making you a love offer. OK, this person has not stopped thinking about you whatsoever. We got the Page of Pentacles. I am getting a lot of Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm getting Leo. Um, cancer pisces scorpio energy as well so this person wants to come forward and make you a solid steady stable offer this is about um you know laying a strong foundation for this connection and kind of just you know um instead of like going all in all out really testing the waters and doing things right so like the opposite of love bombing but it's not so much that it's going to be like super slow or anything because we did get like a good mix of you know all the suits here so i am seeing that things will eventually pick up the pace but it's like you know this person i feel like when they come back you know they just want to make sure that you know they're, they're the best versions of themselves and they are a little bit scared of like you know how you might respond to them if they were to contact you or if you'd even respond to them at all but i feel like they're going to take that leap of faith anyways and i'm seeing that it's coming that contact that you've been waiting for that communication that you've been waiting for it is so close like you are going to be um seeing a lot of movement in a very positive direction okay yeah we also got oh the high priestess yeah i don't read reversal so don't worry if the cards are reversed yeah this person and you you have been talking in the energetic realms okay your energy has been reaching them in other realms this person definitely thinks about you a lot and because of that they have been dreaming about you a lot and like i said they do really put you on the pedestal they do think you're very high vibrational you have amazing energy and in order to be in your life they have to be solid okay they have to offer you something that you really like that you know um like that that's good enough for you like they want to be good enough for you is what i'm seeing okay um we also got nine of swords like i said they are a little bit anxious they are a little bit stressed i'm seeing this is like a mix of both like you know being stressed out about this connection but also being stressed out because of life in general i'm seeing that maybe they don't have the best sleeping schedule they do work a lot and it has been you know kind of a lot on them um just their career jobs have been a lot on them but you know this person i feel like once they get that sorted out i do feel like you know they're going to be coming forward or they're going to be doing something to reach out to you to you know um let you know that they've been thinking about you because they are really scared that if they don't act soon enough they're going to lose you forever and i feel like that fear has been kicking in maybe for some of you they already feel like they have lost you forever because maybe you are you know talking to other people or something like that yeah we got the queen of swords yeah i'm definitely seeing this person is you know, they, they view you as the queen of swords. They view you as someone who's intelligent, someone who is, you know, really well-rounded, well-spoken. And they know that, like, you know, they can't just talk the talk. They know you're not easily manipulated, that you can see through the BS. And they're going to make sure that they have something steady, stable to offer you, okay? Because they know, again, like, you've been through a lot in, you know, your past relationships. And they don't want to be another person who hurt you. And I'm seeing, like, you know, energetically they're holding off until they can come back and, you know, um, be like the divine counterpart, you know, be the king, be like the priest, or what What do you call it, the um, hierophant, you know, they, they, they want to match your energy here is what I'm seeing. But I feel like they eventually will come forward, they eventually will take a leap of faith. Um, they just need to work through their own issues and insecurities first. But once that happened, they will definitely come back. Um, I'm also seeing Pisces energy and yeah, a lot of air sign and earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, someone could have these placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus somewhere or somewhere else in their chart. But yeah, um, I do want to let you know that I offer in depth your readings as well as manifestation coaching and i also custom make subliminal so if you are interested in any of these services check out the description box below where you can sign up for them and yeah i will go ahead and end the video right here thank you so much love and light